Sitting down with you and I had wrestling coach Doug Schwab talking you and I Panther wrestling today. Coach, uh, your Panthers coming off a win uh, at Utah Valley and you're getting ready for two big home duels against Oklahoma State and Oklahoma this weekend here in the McLeod Center. Uh, talk about just how your guys are handling this season coming off of Christmas and getting January started. Yeah, I think, you know, we started off our season well. You know, guys that competed well. Um, you know, Missouri wasn't a great competition. Um, you know, so you kind of try to put your finger on some things if the training-wise or some things, obviously, that we can do different. And then I thought we responded well, you know, going to Utah Valley, which is, it's a long trip, but, um, you know, you, you just enjoy the time with your team and you make you make the best of whatever opportunity you get. So I thought the guy, those guys responded well. Uh, three pins, you know, it's always good to get bonus points if we're going to win big duels. And then, you know, then we get a week where we get to train and then now we're going to be back home in, you know, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. So uh, great opportunity for us and great opportunity for our fans to, to get out and support us. Kyle Biscaglia and Parker Kaysen both get their 60th career wins. What do you see from them from a leadership standpoint? Uh, their action. <laughs> they live it. You know, I mean, it's uh, he, he, you watch Kyle, Kyle, and and you see how he how he takes care of school and all the things that he does and how he lives. And then Parker, man, I don't know. If, I'm hard pressed to find someone that's put more time into the sport that does on a daily basis, and he does it consistently. Um, but just how those guys live, how they train, how they, you know, how they encourage their teammates, and I mean, they, they live what we ask them to do: being selfless, being gritty, and, and being coachable. Those guys live it. And you see that trickle down to some of the other guys. Uh, a couple guys coming off of a win in that Utah Valley. Uh, Derek Holschlag. Talk about the growth that you've seen from him from last year into this season. Yeah, just you know, he, he was able to kind of solidified a spot last year and went to the national tournament and you know he had some big wins and um, started off maybe a little bit lit slow this year but it's it's gotten better every time out um, you know and finding ways to win you know we talk about that Wyoming match I think he was in on a leg for about a minute before he finished you know he just talk about the 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 epitome of just gritty and tough and, and stick it with it. And, you know, he's in his sixth year. Uh, you know, these guys got that, that sixth year, kind of that bonus year, and, and man, they're, they're grateful for it and they're making the most of it. Tyrell Gordon at heavyweight uh, has been solid on that back end of your lineup as well. Uh, for him, what do you want to see from him moving forward? I just give himself a few more opportunities. You know, when he does, uh, he gets to legs and he scores. And, um, you know, you've seen the growth. I think last year being the first time at, at heavyweight, he started to see some things. He got tweaked up a little bit, but um, man, he's getting better every time out. He's had some really good wins in the matches that he's lost. Um, you know, it's one position. Um, so that's why I say, so if he can give himself another opportunity, so now all of a sudden you, you know, you change that one position or you give yourself another opportunity and then he's winning all those matches and he top 10 guy and he's, dang, he's, he's, on, the, he's on the dang podium. And um, that's what he's looking to be able to do in March and, and he's gonna be there. Oklahoma State, Oklahoma are coming into the McLeod Center. A uh, great opportunity for Panther fans to come out or wrestling fans to come out and, and see some great action. Yeah, I mean, just big, big 12, big 12. And, you know, you think about rivalry. Rivalry really isn't one-sided. You know, I and mean, we've been back and forth. We beat Oklahoma State, uh, you know, two out of, I think, last, the last two out of three years. Um, you know, we've beat Oklahoma pretty consistently. And, um, you know, they're, they're storied programs that... And they have a lot of pride and they, they don't like, you know, any Iowa team or you and I team beating them. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's good for us just because it's, it's the next thing on the schedule. And we, we want to get a really roll going into the Big 12 tournament. All right, we'll have more on that coming up. Oklahoma State and Oklahoma in the McLeod Center this Saturday and Sunday. More you and I wrestling talk right after this.